tropical depression number six. We've been talking about this area for a while and the National Hurricane Center uh, finally saw enough on the satellite imagery and it became better organized. And over the next couple of days, the only reason I'm showing you this, two reasons. One, it is forecast to become the east storm that will be Aaron and the fact that we do not have to worry about this one as it moves up towards uh, Nova Scotia in the days ahead. Tropical storm Dorian, we do have to watch because of some impacts here possible for the holiday weekend. It moved past Barbados and now is moving past St. Lucia into the Caribbean. And what this means uh, is it's getting closer to some critical points. Uh, that's going to be as it gets closer towards Puerto Rico, the Mona Passage and uh, Punta Cana right there on the edge of the Dominican Republic. For now, we have dry air, the brown and dark shades all around the system, and that's being entrained into the circulation. That's keeping a very small system from intensifying as it moves through some relatively favorable uh, upper level winds right now. Now, at this time yesterday, we were talking about a track that took it closer towards the center of the island of Hispaniola. Mountain peaks upwards of 10,000 feet there on the island, and with a small tropical system like this, that can really wreak havoc on the organization, which of course is good news. We don't want this to intensify, but today the track looks to be a little farther to the north, so it could possibly miss the island here as it moves through the Mona Passage and then into the Bahamas. Uh, but there are still several other factors, including upper level wind shear as it gets uh, closer to Hispaniola here Tuesday or Thursday morning, rather into Friday. As it moves past San Salvador in the Bahamas, right now the National Hurricane Center is indicating a strong tropical storm, 70 mile per hour winds as it starts to make a little bit more of a curve back towards Florida right now. All of the state pretty much uh, from Jacksonville down through the Florida Keys remains in the forecast track. We are kind of in a sit and wait pattern for our impacts, but right now the thinking is uh, we're going to see some uh, windy conditions, uh, some heavy rain at times, and we'll keep that rain chance at 70% with what is forecast to be a strong tropical storm moving somewhere through central Florida. We're going to be back with more news here coming up.